We're saying G. You well? S Y L B E S. How are you? T E E R. You well? Yeah, I'm alright, man. Good. Um, so, anyway, I was chilling this afternoon and I started thinking about the 1920s. And then I started That's thinking. Of, weird. What's weird? I don't know, just being at home, alone, yeah. thinking about the 1920s. No? What's weird about that? Why wouldn't you? Cool. What do you mean, why wouldn't you? It's just, for me personally, yeah. I wouldn't be at home and think about the night. I don't know, that's just me and your different. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's just a bit of a strange okay, well. scenario. Okay, well, I'm thinking about the 1920s, right? Yeah. And then I realise that we're actually in our 20s. Indeed, we are. And then I realised that there's a huge parallel between those two facts. In fact, the 1900s almost directly correlates with human age. I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, no idea. Okay. Completely Hear me out. Lost. Hear no me idea. out. Nope. Hear me out. Yeah. So, All right. 1914, 1918, World War One. Mm -hmm. So, if you, if you put that into human age, like 14 to 18, and think of that as like a war, I think mm -hmm. it kind of makes sense. Right. You're about to come of age, you're already drinking alcohol, oh, yeah. smoking weed, I don't know what you're talking about. hormones are racing, like you're playing with the idea of losing your virginity. Speak for yourself. Speak for my, what do you mean speak for myself? What do you mean speak for yourself, Mike? What? You're saying you lost your virginity before you were 14. But anyway, I think it's safe to say it's pretty explosive time in your life. Mm -hmm. So then you're in your 20s, right? Yeah. Now, the 1920s, um, culturally especially, people were living quite lavishly with money off the back of the First World War. Um, but things have changed dramatically. People seem to be experimenting and partying all the time. They partied for like nine years. You had women who were previously in corsets, in like flapper dresses. Jazz clubs opened up. People were more opinionated about homosexuality, were more expressive about their homosexuality or women's rights, black people performing for white people, entertainment at the Cotton Club. There were these treasure hunts, these fancy dress parties, getting more partying. In fact, the celebrities of that time were these kind of aristocrats called the Bright Young Things. And in fact, um, Stephen Fry actually made a film about them. Stephen Fry is yeah, my dude. Stephen Fry's a bad boy. Love this guy. Um, so anyway, I just feel as though the mentality people had in the 1920s is very similar to the mentality one has when they're 20. Okay. You know? kind of like... Starting to make sense. Yeah. You're yeah. just having a time of your life and making enough mistakes to set you up for adulthood. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Getting somewhere. Yeah. Oh, and the punchline is that in 1929 we entered an era called the Great Depression. And you know, like when everyone turns, turns 29... And turning 30. Yeah. They all whinge about, about that. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, and you can even stretch as far to say 1939, 1945, World War II. Yeah. 39, yeah. 45, kind of starting family, marriage. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. I think mm. that. Mm. Oh, that reminds me actually, in the 1920s there was this group of intellectuals called the Lost Generation, right? And it was F. Scott Fitzgerald, Gertrude Stein, Ernest Hemingway. And they were a little bit annoyed, miffed if you will, with how people were acting in the, during the 20s, um, off the back of the war, they were kind of spending this money but not really acknowledging where it had come from. And I was kind of thinking if I was to take the lost generation idea and bring it into a modern day context, I wonder what I'd be annoyed about, like maybe the fact that people are so obsessed with reality television or people's continuous reliance on fu ha Harley. Harley? Yes. Trying to explain wait, to you. Wait, two seconds. Instagram, quick. Hold on. Hashtag chilling. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Sorry, what were you yeah, saying? You know what, don't worry about it, man. No, go it's on. It's fine. It's Wait, cool. come on. We'll just have some tea. Right. Let's go. Thank you, mate. Nothing beats. Cup of brown joy. Your mum cut my brown joy. This tea's a bit And you're a prick. Jive on the floor, please. We're not Victor, we can see a part of a brand new age. Yeah, we 